Hey everybody, this is Poplet with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Mattressology, we are gonna talk about mattress comfort life versus mattress warranty, and also how long should your mattress last? So let's go. Okay, so a big question we get all the time is, okay, how long should my mattress last? Yeah, no, that's a great question. We uh, hear that probably weekly basis, right? I would say- Maybe daily basis? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. My kids are always telling me that, you know? They always think, man, how long should my mattress last? They always want something new, you know? <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, yeah, it comes up all the time. It's a good question, right? you know? Like, you're gonna spend good money on a mattress. This seems to be a part of your life. If, you know, every day for seven, eight hours a day, you know, for the next, hopefully at least 10 years. So like, okay, how long should my mattress last? Yeah, especially if you're putting some good money in, investing in a new bed, right? You're like, okay, I don't want to replace it in two years, three years, five years, right? You want to get as much out of it as you can and it to still be comfortable. Yeah, I mean, because nobody likes mattress shopping every few years. So yeah, but it's a tough question to answer because like mattresses, how do you know when it's broken? True. You know, like, okay, what does it mean? How long is my mattress gonna last? You know, cause like with a car, with a TV, with a refrigerator, you know, once it's broken, it's broken, mm -hmm. you know it's time to replace it or repair it, you know? But with the mattress, you're like, I think it's still good, it's all right, you know, it's it looks like a little lumpy and I'm not feeling that comfortable, you know, but it's not broken, you, you know? You put up with it. You put up with it, you tolerate it, you know? So that's where it's, it's a little bit tricky with the mattress. Some, I don't know where I read this or if I came up with it myself, I don't know, but I was like, if you don't fix your mattress, if you don't replace your mattress in time, your mattress can break you like your back i've seen people prolong that time on replacing the mattress and it did it, it took a toll on their back it took a toll on their sleep oh, yeah. so when's a good time and how long should your mattress last yeah. and there's two things to that right it's, yeah. it's, it's kind of you have to ask okay well, what do you mean by that question because that's what we usually kind of follow it up with right yes are you, do you mean how long should it, like is that warranty? Yes. Or how long should you be comfortable those in are, that mattress? Two different yeah. things. Those are two totally different things. Yeah. And when people think like how long my mattress should last, oh, this has a 10 year warranty or this has a 20 year warranty. So this thing should last 20 years, but that's really not the case. Like Gabe was saying, you got warranty, but they also something very important is warranty and comfort life. Those are the two things to take into account. And those are two separate things. In our opinion, comfort life is a lot more important than the warranty. And one reason why it's like, you could have a $5,000 mattress, have the same exact warranty as the $500 mattress. They got the same warranty, so is it gonna last the same? Well, no, the comfort life. So, yeah. okay, really quick, like I was, explain to me what the warranty is. Like I was a five-year-old, so explain to me like, really, really simple, what is mattress warranty? What is a warranty? Just sum it up. Okay, little Pablo. No, no. Let me tell you something. Okay. Okay, so you have warranty. Warranty is how long that mattress is gonna last without there being any defects, right? Is, are the springs gonna pop? out yeah. is there gonna be a dip that's gonna be a lot of companies you see in more than an inch and a half or two inches or you know where we go is anything more than one inch yeah right so is that mattress going to just falter that's the warranty yes right? any defects in the manufacturing yeah. in the with the springs, springs the, the foam just foam breaking dipping down. you know yes I mean we, we we've yeah we've seen pictures of it you know from bed in the boxes where it's just squished right you know that's a warranty that's it shouldn't act that way yeah. right so that's that's the warranty then you've got and warranty has no bearing on comfort warranty's got no bearing on comfort right so then you got the comfort life comfort life how long should this mattress be comfortable i think that's what most people want to know yes right is how long should this mattress be comfortable and um there's a number of different factors in that it's there's you've got materials mm -hmm. right what the mattress consists of inside of it yep. and also how it's built yeah and basically comfort life is like how long is going to feel comfortable from when you first got it you know so another way to say it is comfort life equals the comfort time you know like how long is it going to feel comfortable yeah you know that's really is and it can vary greatly you know i have seen you know 300 400 queen size mattress feel comfortable for like a month or two months and then after that like it has no yeah. feels nothing like it did you know and then i've seen this was maybe a few months ago that it was like a 30 or 40 year old it was done in the 80s it uh -huh. was made in the 80s and i was like oh man this was still had that comfort and that firmness which was very impressive you yeah. know so you know it doesn't really matter the warranty but it's that comfort life is really what's important yeah that is also a harder one 
to really know as far as because one, if it's built right, yes. the construction is built right, you know the comfort should be there. Yes. Right? But then again, you got another factor, and that's us, right? You yes. know, there could be we get older, right? So we're aging, could gain a little bit of weight. You could also lose a little bit of weight. And no, he's he's lost a be, lot of a lot of weight. There could be an injury. You know, the comfort of my bed is still probably even more comfortable now. Yeah, that, that makes a big difference. So yeah, what Gabe was saying is, because it's really hard to, to predict the comfort life because you got the, how can you predict how your body is going to respond on a mattress that you had for several years? Or how can you predict how that mattress is going to respond to your body after several years, yeah. you know? But one way, when you're mattress shopping, you could ask what the comfort life of the mattress is. And a lot of times they're not going to really know what you're talking about. If they're worth a grain of salt, then they should know what their comfort life is, yeah. you know, and give you at least some kind of estimate. But one way to really know is this, and we've talked about this in past videos, like Gabe was saying, the materials of the mattress, you know, the higher quality of the materials of the foam, the springs, the fibers are going to hold up a lot longer. You know, yeah. like Gabe was saying, the densities of the foam are huge. If you're going to get a more of a traditional mattress in our stores, we are huge believers on latex. Yeah. One reason why we like latex, we love the natural aspect of latex. We love the feel of latex, but I would say probably one of the biggest thing is like we want our beds to last yeah so that's why we use latex if anybody's been in the industry knows that latex is a lot more durable than polyurethane foam so that's why we use it you know and also the way it's constructed uh -huh. you know like we said less is more the more layers that you have going on in the bed there's more chances that the mattress can go wrong we actually have a whole video on that like on less is more that's a good one to watch but yeah you don't want a lot of different layers even if it's a might be a beautiful mattress like so when you're mattress shopping you see a beautiful mattress on the outside yeah nice thick you know kind of gauge and see how many layers of you that you have and how many i mean what kind of materials are being used if it's a super thick mattress but you see this man it's like you know in the thousand dollar range it's probably more fluff so just be careful on that you know and kind of get a gauge on what kind of materials are being used in that mattress the components that are being used in the mattress again higher gauge foam like the, the heavier weight foam and the better coil system is going to hold up better and just a little bit more simple design is gonna keep that comfort a lot longer so yeah. yeah so that begs the question again is how long should your mattress last so yeah I mean what we believe right this is what we believe in our our mattresses should be comfortable for you should get good 10 years out of that comfort life of that mattress you, yes yes right? you should love your mattress for at least 10 years yeah and that's what we stand by because I mean most mattresses right you can't really do that because they're all sewed up right you can't open it up you can't yeah. change any components right and then you know if you were to try to change the comfort of the mattress Mattress, usually it's just people try to add toppers to it. Yeah, we even did a video on that. Should you get a topper and should you get a, or a new mattress? Yeah, so it's our, ours is like this, should last 10 years. And the way we go about doing that, and you know, is we try, you know, have the ability to open it up or change some components. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's how we do it. Like one reason why we do that 10 year liver mattress guarantee, because we have the zipper, you can open it up, change out those layers, go firmer, go softer if yeah. you need it. So that's how we say you should love your mattress for at least 10 years, because you don't want to just tolerate, love it for two and then tolerate it for eight, which is pretty common. So yeah, did we miss anything? I think we covered that. So there's comfort life, comfort right? Life. So just kind of wrapping it up is there's comfort, is going to be different than the warranty. Yep. So kind of figure out, okay, what one you want to know, okay, is this match is going to break down within 10 years? And like, do you have only like a five-year warranty? It's just going to break down and it's going to be, you know, shot. So that's the easy one to answer. The comfort one though is going to be, man, am I going to be able to sleep good in day one as I would on like, or day seven as I would on day one or day yeah. two, you know? Yeah. That's what you want to make sure. And, and that's how we really do our best to try to build all our mattresses. Yeah. So comfort life, over warranty, comfort life equals comfort time. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments or give us a call at the store. You know, we're, we're more than happy to help you. And if you guys are on your mattress shopping journey, we put together a mattress guide that helps you with your mattress shopping. And also we put, um, there's another video, like I would say the less is more video is a good one to look, you know. Oh, yeah. And if you wanna see us open up an old mattress from a name brand, click on that other video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you and sleep well.